have nothing to worry about your body perfect perfect hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jaleesa if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video so in today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys my nine month lockup day can you guys believe it it has been nine months since I started my lock journey so we're gonna get into some new stuff about my hair some old stuff what's working what's not working what i like what i don't like so if you're interested to find out how my locks are doing stay tuned okay so let's go into my lock diary and if you're new here i keep a lock diary of things that are changing about my lot something that i noticed so every time i do a lock update for you guys i have kind of like notes <laughs> about my locks that maybe something i may not remember right away so let's see oh the first thing that i have to talk about is i have started using conditioner on my locks what you said you wanted to use conditioner oh my god i know i know but my hair is dry so a girl need conditioner and I did not notice any buildup or anything so I did it once and I didn't notice any buildup and I was like okay I can do this so what I do is I shampoo my hair twice and then I also I always wash my hair while I'm in the shower so then I coat my locks with conditioner so I don't use a lot of conditioner at all I use just enough to coat the outside I, I don't soak it in I don't squeeze it into my locks I don't do that I'm still not there yet <laughs> I just cover my hair with the conditioner and I normally wash my hair in the shower before I actually shower my body so then while I'm showering my body I let the conditioner sit on my hair and then at the end I rinse it out all out all of it every single last drop of it with cool water so that is what I have been doing with my locks lately I'm trying to get back to my lock diary for you guys yeah so that's the biggest change I've made um, since my last lock update. I am now using conditioner and I am seeing a difference in my hair. It's not as dry. Like right now it's a little dry because I need to oil it. Um, and I haven't wet it in like, I haven't spritzed it in like two days. But yeah. But overall I think it's best for my locks. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And it hasn't slowed down any budding. It, nothing has changed as far as my locks progressing goes. And... Okay, what else do I have here? I said that one of my locks in the front had a weak spot, but I think I could. I already combined that one, so I don't know. I need sometimes I need to be a little more specific in my di my lock diary because I'm not sure. Oh, um, the next thing I have is that retightening time comes around so 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 fast. I don't know if my hair is just growing really fast. I don't know if I'm just my retightening is, is slipping because I washed my hair, like I. And because I'm using the conditioner, like maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know. But retaining time comes around a lot faster than I thought it would. Like I thought I'd be able to push two and a half months. No, that, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. At two months, my hair is like, hello, I need to be retwisted. So that has been a challenge for me because it takes me a while to retighten my hair. Right now, my hair is not on the same retightening schedule. And by that, I mean that the top section of my hair, as you saw that I retightened in my interlocking video, is newer than the rest of my hair. So the rest of my hair can use a retighten. But because this section is now, it doesn't need a retighten, I'm waiting until I come back from my vacation and then I'll retighten my hair after that because I just need everything to be back on the same schedule so yeah don't let your hair fall out of schedule um i do have i have on here that i have the smallest and longest lock is in the back <coughs> excuse me i'm with that i don't know if it's the longest okay it's, it's pretty long i don't know if it's the longest lock that's not even it it's this one so this right here this puppy right here she is super tiny and you can see her because there's a white background she is super tiny and she still has a lot of elasticity to her she is thin she has buds and the buds are just as thin as she is 
So we're going to keep a look out on this lock and see how it progresses. I think it's going to be my longest lock. I'm just, I think it is just because it just hangs longer than the rest. But that could just all be in my head. But I think she is going to be my longest lock. Mm. Yeah, I already said that my retightening schedule is out of whack. Um, oh, I'm getting compliments. Your girl is getting compliments. They are telling me that I have vlogs. So if you... <laughs> On my first vlog journey, I made a video about starting locks with two strange twists. I'll have that linked in the iCars right about here. And I talked about how initially it kind of looks like old two strand twists. And people were just like, hmm, I don't know what she's doing, so I'm not going to say anything. But now I think everybody's just like, okay, I see you. You're starting locks. So now sometimes I get compliments from both men and women. They're just like, oh, I like your locks, da, da, da. And I'm just like, oh, thank you. They don't even call them starter locks. They just call them locks. And I'm like, oh, your girl has made it. But yeah, so now I think we're past that point where people were just like, mm, I don't know what she's doing. Mm, ah, ah, ah. Now we're just like. She's getting locks. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to compliment her. Oh, I like your locks. When did you start your locks? Like, mm. I'm like, yeah, girl. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. I'm always excited about that point because it feels like, okay, we've made it to a milestone where people are recognizing our hard work and where we are in our journey. So, yeah. And also, let's see what else I have here. Oh, I'm thinking about getting a hooded dryer. And let me explain why. So, I do wash my hair every other weekend now. I wash my hair every two weeks. I was washing it every week. But I think every two weeks works best for me now. And I wash my hair on Sunday. And it was like Sunday at like 11 a.m. And by like Sunday at like 12, 11 p.m., almost 12 a.m., my hair still wasn't dry. So, and then when I woke up in the morning, because I let my hair out, I didn't tie it down or anything, my hair still wasn't dry. So I think we're getting to that point where we may need a hooded dryer because I don't want to develop mildew in my locks by having my locks sit um, and sit damp for too long. So I may let them air dry for maybe two, three hours. And then after a while, I'll sit on the dryer for maybe like 45 minutes or... I'll sit on the dryer for 45 minutes and just let the rest dry. So I think we're at that stage now where I might need to get a um a hooded dryer so that my hair can I can get my hair to dry faster. Ooh, my battery's dying. Okay. So and then I think that's pretty much it. Um so if you guys have any questions about my lock journey, stuff that I'm doing, I'm still not using gels, I'm still retightening, I'm still using my oil mix, I'm not doing anything different as it as it relates to maintenance but if you have any questions please leave a comment below and i'll be super super excited to answer your questions also be sure to leave a comment below and let me know where you are in your lock journey if you're two months three months a year five years 15 years wherever you are just let me know in the comments below but i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one but wait don't forget to subscribe to this um, channel to my channel this channel it's my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like this video and yeah now i will see you guys in my next video bye guys